What is up guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day, and I'm a cybersecurity professional. And I recently started my Bachelor's of Science in Network Operations and Security at WGU. And today, I just passed my second class, which is C955, Applied Probability and Statistics. Um, today is July 11th, so it's currently 10.30 right now. I scheduled this exam for 9, uh, 9 p.m. I just finished the exam. And I am so excited because I felt like it was gonna be challenging. I just wanted to be done with it. Um, and this week has been really, really crazy. So um, as some of you guys know, um, if you like follow me on LinkedIn or like IG or Twitter, I recently started a new job like literally late last month. So I started my, a new shift this week. So I work like um, 10 hours Monday. I work, I work 10 hours like a couple of days during the week. So I'm not really able to study or do anything like school related during work. So I usually wait till after work to do my studying. And I also have other things I do. So I host like weekly sessions um, at Cyber Wars Academy. Um, and that takes a chunk of my time. And I also have other like um, engagements that take my time after work. Plus, I'm also studying for other certifications outside of my degree. So it's like really, really crazy. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. So I usually like have like two to four hours uh, blocked out to study for this class like throughout this week. I mean, I had like two to four hours. So usually around like um, 11 or 12 when I'm like pretty much done with like all of my other activities, work and everything, I usually start studying for this class. And it's like, it's, I don't know, it's just been really, it's, it's been super challenging kind of staying like focused with the class. Um, I literally had to like specifically daily write out like the plan to study for this class because I knew that if I was like, if I stretched it out too much, I probably wouldn't uh, finish it on time and I would just keep procrastinating it. I actually set a goal to finish it in two weeks, um, but like this, I, I finished it in one week. So essentially, right after completing my first class last week, I immediately did the pre-assessment for this um, uh, applied probability of statistics and took it and I was literally approaching competency so i wasn't really good at probability um like i i literally didn't even do any different probability questions during the pre-assessment um and then like some things about like uh one variable two variables and stuff like that so um regression um and all that stuff so pretty much because like i haven't done that in a while so um and like yeah it, it just wasn't it just didn't really click to me right so i decided to like okay i'm pretty good with like this half of the course so let me focus on the areas I'm not really good at so like daily I like created a plan to study for those areas so essentially as a matter of fact I got a call from my course instructor during the week like you know uh, giving me uh, telling me about the class and giving me resources and that literally surprised me like I have never like what university do you know that your professor or your course instructor calls you bro like I Point me, point me to one university that you know that your course instructor calls you to tell you about the class. None, literally none, bro. Like literally. So my course instructor called me during the week, and after after uh, taking my uh, pre-assessment, and she told me about like different resources, sent me an email with like different um uh, like cohorts that um that's what the VG calls like um like recorded sessions and live sessions where uh, a teacher goes over a specific topic if you really if you need help with it. So I went through like the recorded cohorts for um, the particular areas I was not really good at, so which probabilities, um, regression, um, and a couple of other topics. And I just went through that um, throughout the week. And then Saturday, so I went through that Monday through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, fr Friday, and Saturday, which is yesterday, I didn't really do anything. So I didn't do any studying at all. I was just like, I was really, really busy. So like, you know, just like I was doing stuff like Saturday, right? Um, and then today, Sunday, um, after church, I literally like went to sleep because I was super tired. And uh, a couple hours later, I was like, okay, let me just kind of like brush over these topics um, and just kind of, you know, I think I, I have a, a solid understanding of everything now. So let me just kind of brush over everything. So I look at my notes. Actually, let me grab my notes real quick. So uh, these are my notes, um, super comprehensive. So yeah, right here, um, lots of calculation and stuff. I mean, I could have had more notes, but I, at some point, I just, I just got tired of taking notes, and I was just, like, listening to it. So, took notes, um, and I was literally on the verge. So, my plan was to take it today, but I was literally on the verge of, uh, I was literally on the verge of rescheduling it for later, because I just, like, at, like, the, la like the, la at the last moment, I was like, ah, I don't want to take it, you know, I don't want to take it twice, because I don't want to fail it on my first attempt, but I was like, you know what, I have already, like, I studied for this, you know, might as well just take it, right? Um, and it's not a it's not a really difficult um, 
class if you are i guess decent at math like if you did really well in high school math or like i guess like basic college math and this shouldn't be too difficult it's just that i just i just i just i've just reached a point where i just don't find any relevance in math classes anymore and it just pisses me off that i have to do them but i was like you know i just have to get this done and get it over with um so i can move on to the next stage of my classes so i just like you know did my best study for it and everything took the exam and i must tell you it was really really difficult i'm not gonna lie this was the first time i ever that i've ever taken a break when i'm taking when i was taking an exam i never take breaks when, I, when i'm doing an exam like i literally took a break it's like okay I, got, I gotta breathe bro so yeah but um it was I, I said it was difficult but um i just i could just say it was um it was a little bit challenging but it's, it's something that you can do i mean maybe if i had taken a little bit more time to study um i could have you know felt more confident at it but still i still felt um i guess decently confident with my preparation level uh, throughout this week so yeah, like, I think if you push your mind to where you can easily get this class done in uh, two weeks or, or less, um, I think it's a really, really simple class. So the only, the, the key thing that I noticed was, like, to not procrastinate, because I knew, like, there were days during this week where I was, like, I don't want to study at all. Like, if I had done that, I probably wouldn't be able to, like, get this class done by today or early enough, right? Because it just, like, for me, it just takes a little willpower to want to, like, study this stuff, like... I'm, I honestly don't really, I, I honestly don't really really like it, but I just have to do it. So I just like you know put my mind to it, and I did it. So yeah, that's it about that class. Um, I think my next class should be, let me check. So my next class should be the emerging technologies. So um, that class, I believe it's a paper um, or like multiple papers. Yes, for multiple papers for the class. So um, I'll see how that goes. Um, I. I don't know I usually procrastinate with papers. Um, I guess like when I just start writing, I, I, I'm, I can like quickly like finish that off. So I'm gonna try to see um, if I can also finish that this coming week. So um, try to work, I will try to work, work through it this week um, and try to get it um, as much done this week as possible. So hopefully I can finish this one in one week. It doesn't seem like a really hard class. Um, just, just like, I'll just like do my research about it. Um, look at Reddit. That's where you get your information from. If you're, if you're in WGU, you have to check Reddit. Like any class you're taking, just like go on Reddit and look at it and look at what people are saying. It kind of gives you like a good understanding of like what to expect for the class, you know what I mean? So definitely check Reddit. I usually check Reddit and YouTube for like anybody who has done the class and kind of like gauge like, you know, how will this class be? How do I want to wait for this class? You know, something like that. So definitely check Reddit and YouTube if you're taking any class so you can get more information. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm super excited that I've passed this class. Super excited to be done with math, hopefully forever. Like this is my math, this is the only math class left in this degree plan for me. So I hope I don't ever have to do math. I mean, I do plan on like getting a master. So I hope they don't have you do math and when you have to do a master. So hopefully, hopefully that doesn't happen. But yeah, that's all for today's video. Um, I will definitely do an update video when I pass the next class and let you guys know how it went. But yeah, thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. Um, if you like this video, please be sure to smash the like button. And if you're not subscribed yet, please be sure to subscribe. And also check out my other videos. You're definitely going to find something of value there. Something of value. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video.